My last LED video showed you how to add an Amazon Echo controlled LED strip to your home or office at a much cheaper price than the Philips Hue system. Firstly, thanks for all the comments received and I'm glad I managed to help a few people with their setups. Secondly, thank you to Jogi George for pointing out a newly released and even cheaper LED driver that has a high wattage and therefore lends itself to longer runs of LEDs. This is the ZL PWM HLC502 Zigbee compatible wireless LED driver for white and colour LEDs and it costs less than £30 on Amazon. I'm going to be using it to control 15 meters of white LEDs to provide Amazon Echo controlled lighting in my conservatory. The whole project costs less than £110 provided you already have a Philips Hue bridge. If not, then add £40 to the cost of your project. Here I have my single colour LEDs, my LED driver, a 24 volt power supply and an optional DC power adapter to connect the power supply into the driver without having to cut the ends off the power supply. The driver has a total output of 144 watts at 24 volts or 72 watts at 12 volts. So if you use 9.6 watts per meter 24 volt LED strips you can run 15 meters of LEDs. If you're using the LEDs as room lights then definitely use 9.6 watt but if you're using them more for mood lighting or decoration then you can use a lower wattage per meter and get a much longer run out of the driver. I have opted for a higher current 5 amp power supply because of the length of the run but you can use anything from 2 amps for shorter runs up to 6 amps. You will also need a solder iron if you're going to be cutting and joining the LED strips. One thing to bear in mind with longer runs like mine is the voltage drop over the length causing a slight dimming of the LEDs after 2 or 3 meters and if you're running the LEDs in a loop like I am in this project the LED brightness at the start and the end of the run will be noticeably different especially if the start and finish is in the same spot. The trick here is to power the strip either from the middle of the run from both ends or at multiple points on the run. I'm going to split my run into two strips of 75 meters and power both separately using the same driver. To connect the power supply, cut the adapter off the end and strip the wires. Push down the push connectors and insert the wires into the correct terminals and release the connectors to fix them in place. Next, connect your LEDs to the driver. You can connect single colour LEDs, which I've done here, colour temperature LEDs which have warm white and cold white in the same strip, RGB LEDs and RGB and white LEDs. When everything is connected up, attach the power supply to the mains and hey presto, the LEDs come to life. With this LED driver, the LEDs will flash three times to indicate that there is power but no Wi-Fi connection. Now it's time to connect your driver to the Amazon Echo. This is achieved in two steps. Firstly, connect it to the Hue bridge and then let the Echo discover Hue devices. To add it to your Hue bridge, open the Hue app and select Light Setup. Then press the plus and then search. For single colour LEDs, a new device called Dimmable Light 1 will appear and for RGBW LEDs there will also be Extended Colour Light 1. Feel free to rename these now to something more relevant. This will be the device name that you use on the Amazon Echo. Then ask your Amazon Echo to look for new devices. Don't forget to press the button on the Hue bridge. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, 
Please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. I found two new devices. Try saying, turn off ceiling lights. Alexa, turn off ceiling lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on ceiling lights. Okay. To fix the LED strips in place, remove the backing tape and press them into place, taking care not to crease the tape or damage the LEDs. I went around afterwards and pressed them in again with a firm sponge. So here's my existing setup with uh, TV lights and some lights underneath the TV cabinet. Alexa. Turn on ceiling lights. Okay. And here's the new lights at 20%. Alexa, turn ceiling lights to 80%. Okay. And as you can see, they're proper bright, even 80%. Alexa, turn ceiling lights to 10%. Okay. And that's nice mood lighting. Alexa, turn off ceiling lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off conservatory lights. Okay.